the 96 Van Persie Shapeshifters icon. High, medium, four star, five star, weak foot. Here's the cam version with the left foot, of course. Cam or center forward is all you can play. But look at the stats overall. 93 composure, 99 short pass, 98 long pass, 99 shot power, long shots, 93 finishing. Looks like an absolute unbelievable cam and striker. It's also got flare passes outside the foot shot, swerve pass and flare. We've gone for an engine. Now, a little bit siding on the engine because the chem styles are getting a little bit difficult to choose from but you can see here because he has so many 99s we might as well boost up that balance and agility so as much as it can be and we have gone for this because another reason being it makes him into a 97 rated cam a 95 center mid and a 95 striker yes technically it's lower but i don't think it's going to be a problem we will be playing in foot champs today we'll talk a bit more about chem styles prices and what i thought about the card much more at the end of the review that being said let's go jump in and give him have a word from today's sponsor first are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Knight, select foot, select foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So we are playing in foot champs, and we're going to be playing in our four triple two system. We're going to play Van Persie on the left hand side, shooting across, as our opponent has got a pretty good team here. And we're going to see how he gets on. Obviously, he's got five star weak fits, it doesn't matter if you play him left or right. Could have played him in a cam roll, but I just think keeping him up front is going to be the best thing to do. Because he's got that high passing as well, it should be good to do stuff like the kickoff glitch as we're getting clean through right from kickoff. And then Cruyff's let the ball down there. Do the control it. Outside the foot shot, good foul shot there. But you can see that's the position he's going to be playing in, in terms of up front. Good start, but kickoff glitch, anyone can do that. And we're going to see how many goals and what sort of contributions he can do in the game. Do we catch him slipping? No. Van Persie at the top. There's a dummy run. Wait for the keeper to come out. Commit. Van Persie and it's blocked. That's a shame. We'll have a look at his statistics if our opponent doesn't rage quit. Which he has. Let's go jump into another game. So into our second game then, or technically our first game. So didn't really count that one. Let's have a look at our opponent's team again. You can see us in goals. Some nice red picks. So it's going to be a good test for Van Persie. We don't get kickoff this time, so let's see how we get on in this game. Van Persie with a phantom glide pass one. Into the... Ah, oh, tried to finesse it straight away. Very unlucky. Van Persie picks it up. She's got that pass in the bottom. Lovely pass in. Wait for the overlap. Trying to use that left stick. Onto the right foot and it's blocked. So far, so good from him. Feels really responsive on the left stick dribble. Have a look at his set pieces now. 99, 93, 99 and 94. So he's got really good statistics. We won't waste him on the corner though. We're going to drill it to the top. Find him on the edge of the box just here. Take that long range finesse and a good save from the goalkeeper. And Percy, a bit of skill, a bit of step over, dragged him out. Use him as a dummy run. Now we try to force it to him if we can. That's not where I press. Cheers, game. Wow, what have you just conceded? What's just happened there? Cheers, Edison. Oh, Prime Pele getting that in. We get Van Percy on that kickoff glitch again. He does mark it this time. No good defense from him. Van Persie here, takes that touch, tries with a shot across goal and a mad save from the goalkeeper. Managed to tackle him, we don't get on the end of it. And the problem I find him with Van Persie is because he's on that controlled, everybody's got 90 plus centre backs on lengthy, which means they get quicker over time. Controlled means they stay the same pace, they don't get slower or quicker. So we are getting outpaced at times in situations where we should not be outpaced. Like here, for example, just a bit slow going into the touch, good control though, and again, a person can recover. And that's going to be a problem when you get to the higher tiers of FIFA, especially when you're playing champs at this level or in top, for example, elite division rivals, is people have the fastest centre-backs you can in the game. And this is where Van Persie is going to be a problem. In front of goal, yeah, you're going to score, of course. But in those situations where you need him to run through, and that is half-time. We've not had many chances. We've had a couple half-chances here. Our opponent scored that ridiculous goal that you, scored, you saw there. I'm going to make some change. I'm going to bring on Harry Kane up front. And we are going to get Mbappe out wide to get some pace on. And I'm going to show you the difference between Harry Kane on lengthy and Van Persie, who is not. And you'll see what the problem is with Van Persie in particular. When you play against people who have really fast defenders and with lengthy on top, they are going to get so many opportunities. Like here, we can drive in. Do be that offside trap, I believe. We don't, unfortunately. It's very unlucky. But Van Persie's passing is really, really good. Van Persie, yeah. Got the overlap from Kane. Heavy touch across. It's a good save. We get the bad rebound and he saves that. We can't get the tap-ins. Van Persie running down the line for us. We do find him. Red time. And there we go. Clinical. Bad shot from me, but it ends up being in our favour. Finally getting through on goal and he scores. It just shows you how clinical it is that we red time a shot and he still gets a goal in. Finally beat behind the man there. Mbappe using that pace to break it down. 
Not long left in the game. Our opponents is playing really defensive now. You can see how far back his entire team is. Just chilling in front of the box. Again, watch our opponent. He'll literally pass it. We get the ball here, and then everybody runs back. We do manage to break it this time, though. Again, this is the difference between... Oh, clean through. That's the difference between Harry Kane and Van Persie, though. Is Harry Kane can get on the end of that. We were clean through. That was going to be a goal, 100%. Play it to Van Persie if we can. The player's gone on the floor. Lovely pass. Great assist from Van Persie there. Back in the game. We should have had a goal anyway. Van Persie getting the goal and an assist in this game. It's been very difficult to use, I will be honest. Now our player's missing the defender. We might be able to get another chance as long as he doesn't score a ridiculously lucky goal that he has been scoring. Got Van Bapp over the top. We've got Van Persie at the bottom of the pitch. Let's go for an early cross. That's an absolutely outrageous pause. Van Persie! Oh! Not long left in the game. We've got a couple minutes here to make something. We're going to try to drill it on the edge of the box. Van Persie with a finesse off the ball. Got one more attack here. No, we haven't. It's gone to extra time. We should have had the winner. We hit the bar and an amazing save from the goalkeeper in the 90th minute. Van Persie is very difficult to use at this ELO. Because he's controlled and not lengthy, I'm struggling to get used to him a little bit. I'm so used to having Haaland up the top. And that sort of body type. But in terms of clinicalness, he is fantastic. His passing is also extremely consistent. A little bit slow going into full speed. But like I said, that's down to his, his accelerate, not because of his pace. Our opponent has switched into a five back, I've just noticed. Lovely play. Oh, nearly. And that is going to be the second half, or the first half of extra time done. Our opponent switched to a five in the back. So now he's playing even more defensive than he originally was. I don't blame him because he's got the red card, but it is really frustrating to play against when you've got two players that are a little bit slow on the dribble, as it were. See if we can do the kickoff glitch. Van Percy. Ah, oh, it's a poor pass from Kane. To intercept. Van Percy gets the winner. Come on. That's a big goal. Van Percy coming in clutch there. Opening up the space. A little triangle around. Van Percy left foot across goal. Was never going to miss that. Two goals and assists in this. Three goal contributions out of three. It's been a really, really tough game. It's got to be another red card, right? surely. And this is what I mean with this game. Like, How lucky can you get my... Kimpempe refuses to tackle and then he gets a tap in like that off my player running into him. And just like that, we've lost the game systematically to a guy who's got a red card. He's going to pass it around the back because he knows he doesn't deserve to win. Oh, this game is the most furious game I've ever seen. Yeah, go on, play it to the back. Yeah, oh, so annoying. There's nothing we can do, unfortunately. EA have decided that we were just not meant to win that. He's going to win that header. Of course he does, yeah. Then, then my players are just going to have no space, yeah. And he's going to go down the other end, so... Welcome to FIFA 23, ladies and gentlemen. When you do all the defensive work and your players refuse to tackle like this and he gets a pass across, but this time they'll defend it, but not the other time. And we've lost the game because of it. Oh, I don't even know. I don't have any words at times. This game is incredibly bad. Oh, what have I just seen? I can't believe my luck. Let's go jump onto Footbin. So he's 850k at the moment. I think this is a little bit overpriced. I do like the card, but when you're playing against people who know Accelerate, Lengthy is the mayor, especially in your CDMs and your centre-backs. Being controlled that he is just makes him so behind the power curve in that sense. Doesn't mean he's terrible. He's still very good at what he does. Good at finishing. And he'll be great if you're playing against people who don't know how to utilise that. But we had an engine on him. I don't think there's any other chemistry. Maybe a basic if he wanted to. But... 97 pace, he doesn't feel like he has 97 pace. And the problem being high average and being six foot tall, even with 99 balance and agility, his left stick dribbling is not the quickest. His finishing is great. His passing is absolutely outstanding, which I'd hope it would be with 99 short pass and long pass. But overall, I'm a little bit disappointed with this card. I will be honest. I thought he was going to be better than he was. Maybe the right wing is better. We'll have to see in due time. But I don't know. I think this card will continue to drop down, to be honest. It's a shame because it's probably the best Van Persie card we've had, if not the right wing one. If you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe. Catch you in the next one.